Hi everyone. Uh, so a little bit of bad news, but uh, the Sogo breakout that I did the video on earlier, in my opinion, has failed, um, and I wanted to go over that really quickly just to update everyone. Um, so for reference, today is uh, June 21st, 2018. Um, you can see the chart here at the bottom, and I'll go into a little more details. But the the quick summary, in my opinion, anyway, at least the breakout has failed. Uh, personally, I'm going to wait for the next one, and I'll go into a little bit of the reasons why. So let's jump to the actual chart itself. So uh, the key point is that it's fallen below 10% from the breakout point. 10% is what I use uh, as basically a stop loss. Um, in this case, I'd kind of mentally targeted at 13. Um, and I actually technically got up just slightly above it. But when I saw the open this morning, it was moving pretty fast and hard down. And as we see, it actually ended up the day even lower. So it was the right thing to do, even though I ultimately lost money on this trade. Um, for reference, let me get the pointer. Whoa. This blue line right here, the top one, was of course the original breakout point. I guess the chart actually got cut off slightly over here, but that was the original marker I was looking for. We had this uh, pop, and then the real thing here with the high volume, everything was looking quite good. We then had two days of uh, downward selling pressure. Um, this was when all of the $200 billion in Chinese tariffs talk started up, and, and I knew the markets were not happy about that so I was hoping it was going to bounce and survive it but unfortunately today, uh, today being Thursday, June 21st, uh, really uh, everything got hit hard uh, whether it's from the tariffs just sinking in, um, Daimler over in Germany also gave a profit warning which is unexpected so just uh, general issues. Um, fundamentally I don't think anything's happening uh, in terms of negative stuff with Sogo as a company so I am looking to re-enter into this on the next breakout. Um, simply just going to wait and repeat. Hopefully the next breakout above 14 or so, um, I will definitely look to re-establish my position and hopefully we'll have a, a nicer outcome on that next run. Um, yeah, I guess what I just talked about. Uh, what next? Wait for the new breakout above 14. Um, just for quick explanation as far as why I use 10% as a stop, um, generally, a strong breakout, just on average, shouldn't really go below that. I mean, if it's it's moving and, and going to stay moving, it's generally not going to look back. So if it starts going below 10%, usually that's a problem. I mean, not every breakout obviously succeeds, so it's important to cut your losses and uh, minimize the loss of capital. Uh, and again, the 10% is also a good benchmark in general because of kind of the concept of mathematical leverage for recovery. So what do I mean by that? Assume that we have $100, we lose 10%, we're now at 90, 10% loss. To regain or recover, I should say, back to 100 requires a 12% gain from the new $90 worth of capital to get back to 100. So it's nearly linear, 10 and 12% is pretty close. But once you start going below that, it starts getting more and more asymmetrical against you. Uh, and for example, in a, in a bad case, if you have $100 and it goes down to 50, 50% loss. Uh, to recover, just to get back to your 100, you now have to do a hard thing, which is you basically need a 100% gain from your 50 to get back to 100. Um, so effectively, the deeper the loss, the greater the asymmetrical gain to recover from it. Uh, I can certainly attest from um, hard experience the importance of that. Um, so anyway, I mean, we'll see what happens, um, you know, with Sogo. Uh, like I said in the other video, I covered the fundamentals. I think there's a lot of good things happening for the company, and I think this is more just a, a larger market issue. Um, but you never know. I mean, there, maybe there's something else going on, uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. But fundamentally, everything, in my opinion, still looks good with the company, and it's just going to be a, a waiting for it to break out, and I don't want to... A, have a deeper loss than I already did, and B, uh, tie up my capital if it takes a while to recover and, and regroup and get back above its original breakout point of 14. So hope that helps, and um, that's about all for now. Take care.